For this demonstration, we have opened a sample file and we will be adding a new loan and setting up a payment. So the first thing to do is to access your chart of accounts. So we're going to click on chart of accounts here on the home page. It will bring up our full list of accounts. Now we're adding a new loan so we don't have an account for that yet. So we'll come down here to the bottom and we'll click on account. And then we'll click on new to add our account. It will bring up the new account wizard. So the first thing we're going to do is determine which type of account we're setting up. So we're going to set up a loan account. We'll hit continue. Okay, and then we're going to name our account. So for this loan, just for the sample, we're going to say that this is an auto loan. So we're going to type in sample auto loan. Okay. And then for our description and you know, in your business, you may have several different auto loans you may want to keep separate. You may want to describe it by the bank, um, by the date, by the, the vehicle that you're purchasing with it. Um, what we'll do is we'll just say 2012 auto. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to account type, and we're going to make this a long-term liability. Okay, you can fill out the rest of these things if you choose to. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will leave them all blank. We'll hit save and close, and it has now added our loan to the chart of accounts. Okay, so we need to add our balance. So we're going to double click on the account, and it'll bring up the ledger. Okay, we're going to edit the transaction. We'll hit OK on this. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter our credit amount for the loan. So we're going to say the loan is $50,000. And who made us the loan over here in the name section? So since this is a sample, we're going to go ahead and add a new, a new name here. So we'll hit Add New. And then we're going to add a vendor. Hit OK. And when the screen comes up, we'll enter the vendor's name. So we'll just call them Sample Bank. And we'll enter an opening balance. And we'll just enter zero. Okay, and you can fill out the address info of the bank, the contact information, things like that if you choose. Um, in the additional info section, you can add things such as the terms of your payments, uh, the different types, billing rate levels. In the account prefill section, you can determine where the expenses are going to. We're going to leave all of that blank for now. We'll hit OK. Okay, so we've added our sample bank as a vendor. The next thing is we need to balance our transaction. So we have our credit for $50,000. Now we need to debit $50,000. So we're going to come in here and we're going to find the asset that this loan corresponds to, which is automobiles and trucks. We'll click on that and we will add $50,000 of debit so that the accounts balance. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to save and close. Hit OK. And it has added our transaction in here. Okay, so once we've added our transaction, we're going to go back to our home page. And then we're going to come up here on the top ribbon to banking. Click the drop down and we'll come to loan manager. The loan manager usually takes a couple seconds to load. Now to use the loan manager, there are some things that you need to have. You need to know what was the original balance of your loan, what's the current balance, what was your interest rate, What's your payback term? How many months are you going to be paying this back over? And what, at what point in that payment schedule are you at now? Are you on payment 1? Is this payment 20? You need to have that information. So to add our loan, we're going to go here and add a loan. Then we're going to choose the account name. The account name is Sample Auto Loan, which we already put in. Brings up the current balance of $50,000. Then we're going to choose our lender. Now we put our lender in as Sample Auto Bank, or Sample Bank. Click on them and the origination date. So today is August 22nd. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that this loan originated August 1st. 
So we put August 1st, 2012. The original amount was $50,000. And the term, we're going to say that this is a five-year note, so we're going to pay this off in 60 months. Okay, once you have all of that information in there, you can hit next. Due date of the next payment. So this loan originated August 1st. We're going to say our first payment is September 1st. And our payment amount, this will be the amount that the bank or lender gives you what is your actual monthly payment. So for ours, we're going to say it's $967. And the next payment number, if you know if this is a new loan, your next payment will be your first. You'll put one. If it's an existing loan, you'll need to know at what point in the payment schedule you are currently at. Okay, so we're going to pay them monthly. You can choose from several different options here. We will choose monthly for the purposes of this sample. Does your loan have an escrow payment? You know, typically, a business loan does not have an escrow payment unless it has real estate, something like that, attached to it. Uh, so we'll leave that no for now. We're also going to take off this alert. Since this is just a sample, I don't want to get alerts. Okay, we'll hit next. And then we need to put in our interest rate. We're going to say our interest rate on this loan is 6%. Compounding, we'll leave that at monthly. That was determined by the bank. And then our payment account. What account do we want the payments coming out of? Now, for our business, we're going to want this coming out of the checking account. And then for the interest expense, you need to choose the account that you want the interest expense to post to. So we're going to come through here, and we'll find interest expense. And then any fees or service charges, you know, late payment fees, anything like that, we want that to post to bank service charges. Okay, so the next thing is hit finish. And it's added your loan. Okay, it's also got your summary here. Who is the loan through, account number, origination date, all the information that you put in. It also has your payment schedule. So it shows you how much principal and how much interest you're paying each month. All the way down here to your final payment. And you'll notice the final payment is different than the normal payment. This is very standard in, in lending. Your last payment is very rarely the same as a normal payment. Um, for the contact info, if you've input any contact info on this loan, it'll show up here. You can do lots of things. You can print. You can do what if scenarios. Uh, you can add a new loan. If at any point you realize that the information you put in is incorrect, so let's say that you put 6% as your loan interest rate and it's actually 6.2%, you can come in here, you can click Edit Loan Details, and you can change those things at any point. Okay. So if you want to make a payment on the loan, it's very simple. Simply set up payment. And then you choose, do you want a regular payment or do you want an extra payment? Now, if this is a normal payment, you're just going to go with regular. If you've already paid this month and you want to maybe pay some extra, then that would be an extra payment. Uh, we're going to do regular payment for now. Okay, it's already got your account information in here. It's got your payment information. Let's say that you want to, instead of paying $967, you want to pay $1,000. So... Whatever the additional is, $1,000 minus the $967, so you've got $33 there. So we're going to add that to the principal, make this $750, and it'll automatically update the total payment for you. And then you can choose whether you want to write a check or just enter it as a bill. For right now, we'll write a check. We'll hit OK. and it automatically brings up the check for us. It automatically posts those to the loan, to the interest expense, everything's already done for you. At that point, we'll just hit save and close. And all of a sudden, it's updated our loan, the new balance after we made that payment, the next payment due date, the amount of that payment. If we come to our payment schedule, it's now taken payment one out. Our next payment is payment two. This is the principal, this is the interest, total payment. All of those things are right there in the loan manager for you. So it's very easy to organize, very easy to access. Um, this information is, is all very, very important for your business and for your loan. These numbers are going to post directly to your bookkeeping and make it very easy to track.